Hello there everyone, this is Tales of the Bashful Viking, and I'm here to talk about Moonfang, the world boss in the Dark Moon Fair that drops the little pet Moon Moon. And some other stuff too that doesn't really matter. So first thing you gotta do is run around the forest until these uh, non-elite wolves start spawning. And uh, you gotta kill a lot of them until the elite ones show up. You'll get a little notice saying that the elite ones showed up. I think they're called Dreadfangs. And then you gotta run around and you get... It doesn't take as many to, ki to get her to spawn after these ones spawn. It only takes, like, maybe five at most, I would say. I think it's random how many there is, but it doesn't take very much. So after this guy dies, you'll see that she pops up. And it gives a little warning that uh, Den Mother Moonfang has appeared in, in the woods. And uh, I'll show on the map uh, her location in the woods so you can go and find it. So, a few things to mention here while we're getting started. Uh, everybody gets loot as long as you hit her once. There is no uh, tagging mechanism here. Everybody gets loot. It's the Alliance, the Horde. Um, so if, if you want to go kill the Alliance or the Horde while you're, while you're doing this, you, you can be a jerk like that. But everybody gets loot. You don't have to be in a group. Um, so now we'll get into the fight a bit. Um, so f the tank or whoever she's going to be chasing uh, has to kite her in a large circle. Uh, she does a lot of damage. Not, not many people are going to be able to survive a couple of hits of her. Uh, so you tank her in a large, you kite her in a large circle, um, but not too far, because she will reset if you get too far away, and everyone will be pissed off at you. Um, the next thing you gotta worry about is leap to the kill, which um, she does on a random player around her. Uh, you'll see like, like the ground kind of mushing up under your feet and it'll say leap to the kill on so and so you're gonna have to move out of that right away because it'll one hit you um, next thing is the moon, fa moon fangs tears are the lights coming down from this from the sky in an aoe you're not going to survive too many hits of that so if you get that on you you want to move out of that as fast as you can um, further on she's she's gonna call her pack and a bunch of Ads are gonna spawn. A tank's gonna wanna. A tank or somebody's gonna want. Yeah, you're just gonna wanna stay on Moonfang and try and get her down as fast as possible. There's also I haven't seen it very often, but you can get cursed and turn into a werewolf, and uh, you'll start running around mind controlled, attacking people. Um, if you see somebody like that, just CC. Uh, they have a little ability when that happens, so that they can um, get themselves out of it. So I think that pretty much covers all the things she does in her fight. Um, I think I didn't mention that you're going to need a lot of people to take her down. Like, you're not going to be able to do this with five people. You're going to need, I think I, the least I've seen is like 12 people take her down. I could be lying and just making that up, but I <laughs> I could just be lying out of my teeth. No. Uh, you're going to need, the more people you have, the easier it's going to be. It's going to need to take a, a lot of people to take her down. So, uh, that's the fight. So maybe I'll speed it up a little bit from this point forward. So right here I die, and um, if you see the big greenhouse with the with the purple trim rail there on it, uh, jump on that rim and take it for a shortcut to go back to Moonfang. Some people take the long route and go all the way through the fair to the top. Uh, there's no need to do that. You can just uh, hop on that little rail and cut through the woods there. That's a little shortcut.
And she's down. And I get Moon Moon again. Yay! So I'll take a little time at the end of the video just to show show off my little pet. Uh, good luck getting Moon Moon. Bye!